So this, I really enjoy. And if you can hear tapping around, that will be my dog who is annoying me today. I just want to record this video. Can you not leave me alone? Ah! Relax. Take a deep breath. Mm. Oh. <sighs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what I bought at the end of the month. I always like to treat myself just a little bit to mainly makeup products. I do like to treat myself. I think it's good when you work all month, it's good to reward yourself with something. The first item that I bought from Juni is this L'Oreal Skin Perfection Serum. I've seen a couple of girls on my YouTube use this and they said that they swear by it. Uh, they say that it's about seven days after you notice results. I've been really, really struggling with my skin and I still can't seem to get the right product to do the right thing. Uh, recently, I've started having really bad dry patches, maybe a little bit like eczema or psoriasis just around here. You might be able to see it, but I'm hoping that you can't see it too bad. But I'm quite dry here. And then I've been suffering with a lot of oil and blemishes. So I have changed my face scrub and I'll move on to the new one that I've bought. But this, I've used it a couple of times and I find that it's really nice when it goes on the skin. It's not oily like some of my other products and I'm hoping that this could be a winner. So the next item that I bought, I've been using this for a week or so, is the Garnier Pure Active Intensive Face Wash. The reason I bought it is because it does say that it's for greasy skin with a tendency of acne. I don't have a tendency of acne, but my skin, as I've mentioned before, is very oily. If you remember, in my last haul, I bought the Olay Regenerist face scrub and I did not get along with that at all. Even though it felt nice as soon as I put it on, my skin started tingling a bit and it just didn't work with my skin. I didn't find it made a difference. If anything, I found that it made my skin worse. So I'm going on to use this. It's great because it's got like this bristly top, which is really easy to clean and you turn it. <laughs> Sorry. And you turn it, you squeeze the product out, turn it back, and then you can just wash your face with it. This might be a little bit too strong for my skin. It could be why I've gone slightly dry in this sensitive area around here. I've been using it morning and night, and I think it might be best if I just use it once a day. It could be because of this product, but it also could be for something else, the changing of the weather. The next couple of items that I bought from Juni are the Allure eyelashes. These are the ones that I always go for. They're normally the best quality ones around here that I can find in Spain without having to order off eBay or Amazon. I'm wearing right now number 118. Um, I've used these for my Valentine's Day look and they feel extremely comfortable. I had to cut them down a bit. This one is actually a starter kit, so you get uh, one that you can practice with first. It also comes with a tweezer-like application that you can use to pop them on and a couple of small glues. And the other ones that I bought are the number 80. I bought these as they're a little bit lighter and I'm gonna use these for a wedding next week. I'm not that great at putting eyelashes on, but I found these quite easy. So if you have trouble with them and you haven't tried these already, then I would recommend giving these ones a go. So as you might have already sussed out, I am a big fan of Sleek, but I decided to try something different this month. I have purchased the Blush Nudes by Maybelline. This product stood out for me because of the colors inside and it is the palette that I have used on my eyes for the Valentine's Day look that I recorded earlier. On the back of the palette, it has got instructions of how you can use some of the colors, whether you want to do four colors in your eyes or like a set of three or two. So that's quite nice. It is all in Spanish, but I'm sure I'll be able to work it out for myself. So we all like our makeup brushes. I have purchased the Revolution E103 brush. The bristles on this brush feel great. I haven't used it on my eyes yet. The reason I picked this up is because it was really, really cheap. It was about two euros 50 or three euros and the quality of them look great. And I've seen a lot of girls using their makeup products. One of the ones I have from them is the Revolution Pro Fix All Control Fixing Spray. I've been using this now for over a month, maybe two months now. And I find that it's quite good for the price. It's pretty good. And it keeps my oil at bay for a little bit longer than not using it. Another one from Revolution is this Pure Pigments. The color I've got it in is Agonize and I am wearing that on my eyes today. It's a very beautiful color. And for one euro 50, it's gonna last ages. So the next thing that I purchased is this Maybelline Nude Embrace Matte Lipstick in 930. 
I am getting really, really into my lipsticks and I just want a whole range of colors, but I like to buy ones from different brands. Don't really want to be spending too much. This was under five euros. The color is beautiful and it's another one to add to my collection. So I have gone with quite nude colors this month for my haul and Essence have got a nice collection of blushes. This one is the Silky Touch Blush. It is in number 40, Natural Beauty. It says, silky soft blush for a fresh looking complexion all day long. I have also got their Matte Touch Blush, which is very good and they're very pigmented as well. So if you're looking for a reasonable blusher, then these ones from Essence are really good. So the other item I'm gonna show you guys is this six way nail file. Yes, I'm a nail biter and I am doing my ultimate best to try and stop biting. I am using OPI cuticle oil. I'm trying to file whatever I've got there. It is hard and it is a habit that I am trying to combat. So I saw this, it's by Essence and it's six step one, you've got to shorten, which I don't need to do. You've got to shape, which is, is handy to take off the niggly bits because that's the one I start to bite. You've got to adjust, to clean, to smooth, and then to polish. And the polish one, I used this last night and it made my fingernails feel very smooth that I can't just kind of start picking. So I'd recommend maybe if you're a nail biter or if you want to polish your nails up quite good. This is really good. It says with a mirror shine. If I could do a close up of my nails and I wasn't so embarrassed, then yeah. <laughs> I would show you how shiny they are, but this is very good. Right, gonna keep going. Um, I bought these from CNA. They were five euros and I'm going to be wearing them for a wedding I'm attending to next week. They're little leaves, they'll look very pretty and dainty with the dress that I'm wearing. So from my last tour when I went to H&M, I bought some tracksuit bottoms, which I am in love with. And I wear them all the time that I ended up buying another pair and they were around 10 euros. Well, I went into the sales again and I managed to find another pair but even better for three euros. I also bought from there, it's very soft, just this nice baggy top that you can wear with jeans, maybe a long necklace. I like my bargain. So guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you liked the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.